This is Typically Teresa. My name is Teresa and today we are talking about what is in my work bag as a medical assistant. If this sounds interesting to you, just keep on watching. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me today for another video. If you have not already, please click that subscribe button and give this video a like once you have um, watched the video. And excuse me, um, comment down below and let me get some feedback. Let me know how the video informed you. If, if you are a medical assistant or a healthcare worker, this bag will be excellent for you to um, kind of guide you into some of the things that you can include in your bag. Um, my, allergies are bother my allergies are bothering me today, you guys, so I do apologize. I might be sniffling along the way here. As you get older, it's like you find new things that you're allergic to, so I am so sorry about that. So my bag here looks like this. Um, it has several pockets in the front, which honestly, I don't have anything in them. There's a pocket here. There's pockets in the back. And um, it looks like this. And I have this tassel keychain hanging in the front. So when I carry it, it looks like this. And it zips it across the top as well. I ordered this back off of Amazon and it is comparable to the 31 bags that were really popular and they probably still are. Um, so this is, I, I believe you could say, a knockoff version of the 31 bags. Um, and I said once I get, in, get more deeply into the medical field, I started out as a CNA. Worked my way up to a pharmacy technician, became certified. Now I am a medical assistant, which I will be finishing out my associates in medical assisting. I'm just literally just doing my hour, so I am practically good to go. I just need to take my certification exam, which will be toward the So once I take that exam, I'll be certified and good to go. But I have been blessed enough to still be offered a position as a medical assistant because I have an extensive medical background that makes me applicable for this position, as well as the fact that I am practically done with my hours and my program. So I'll be receiving my Associates of Medical Assisting Science once um, the pandemic slowed everything down as far as my hours are concerned, and unfortunately where I work cannot count as my hours for graduation as far as my externship. So um, that's how that has been working out for me. Um, so it is all good. I am still very happy that I have this job. So the very first thing you will see in my bag and what's awesome about this bag is there are pockets inside and i'm not gonna let you probably have like no way of seeing these pockets but there are pockets inside the lining of the bag so in front of the bag there's pockets in front inside here and they're individual and there's pockets in the back that are in the lining of the back as well. So this makes it so, so, so easy to be organized. And I'm one of those people, as you watch my videos, you'll see that I love organization systems and it helps me to stay on track, know where things are and keeping it together. And you'll notice a theme as I go through this bag as well of how I keep it together. So we're gonna start with the pockets that are inside the bag in the front. So the very first thing you'll see once you open up the bag is this Happy Planner Memo um, Planner, I guess. Memo Notepad, really. Actually, that's the proper word here. A Memo Notepad. And I love her. She's so cute. And it says, this year looks bright. And it's by Happy Planner. I actually got this from one of my coworkers at my old job. She gave it to me for a birthday gift because they know that I love Happy Planner and planning. So this is what I tuck in my, um, my lab coat at work to write down quick notes about maybe a patient or something that I learned new at work so that I, um, looking at my eyebrows, I'm like, are these, do they look even? Uh, 
like, okay, I could have done a little bit better at the end right there. But anyway, um, <laughs> this is awesome to tuck away in my lab coat to jot down quick notes about patients or anything that is needed um, to know on the job. So this is in the front pocket that I keep in my pocket, my lab coat at work. So the next two items you'll find are these two bags. I used to subscribe to Ipsy. I no longer subscribe to Ipsy. I just do my Fab Fit Pump, my Fab Fit Fun Box. Once I became a May or Mary Kay consultant, which I'm a senior consultant now, um, I said I can't, you know, get Ipsy and all these other things when you know I'm Mary Kay consultant, and that's kind of like cheating. So I I, I completely stopped getting my Boxy Charm, my Ipsy, and my Ipsy Plus. That I would get every month okay guys so the first two items you'll find once you open up the front um, these are not in pockets I actually don't have anything else in the other pocket next to the memo notepad that I just showed you so I'm sorry guys remember my allergies are bothering me <laughs> so um, two bags here um, yeah so I didn't so I only have my FabFitFun subscription box now and that comes quarterly so this bag right here, we'll get into this one first. This is an old Ipsy bag, if you're curious of where I got it from. This has, this is my like uh, pens and pencils highlighter bag. So these are some of the pens and pencils that I um, have in here. Now my main ones that I use on a daily basis is the red pen. This is what we use to mark on the book sheet when we need to circle the diagnosis codes or the other codes that correspond to billing and coding. So if I do an x-ray, there's a certain section on there that, that I need to circle and I need to indicate what I x-rayed um, a highlighter. So the Sharpie pen, which is really good for writing on um, labels and things like that so it doesn't smear. Oh, that's upside down. So that's the Sharpie pen. And I have it in black. And I also like to uh, utilize the um, a stylus pen because we have machines that we use that are like touchscreen and they're really tedious. So the stylus tip really helps with um, being able to touch on the screen and then not having to like use my finger to do it. And in here I have like these pom pom paper clips if I ever need it. But those three pens are the main pens that I use on a daily basis. I also keep my work badge in here. Just there if you're curious. It is magnetic. Um, and I will show you that. Like, yes, I am a legit medical assistant. <laughs> so that's what my badge says. And I do have the training. All right. So um, this is a Dollar Tree find. And this says, this girl can. I love things that are motivational. Inside this bag, you will find some of my tech items. So I keep my headphones, my phone charger, and my a headphone Bluetooth charger in here. I just don't need to take that out. And um, I also keep in here my power bank, just in case if I'm at work and I can't get to a charger or something like that. You know just in case that is in here um, so that is that so these are the two bags that are in front so these will go okay guys so the next item that you will find here is the my USB fan here and this comes in handy and it's literally has like a USB hookup because we use laptops at work so I can plug this into my USB, you know, after running around, doing a few things, getting patients triaged, you tend to get a little warm. So I keep this um, in my bag as well. And it does have an on and off switch here. And um, it definitely helps me out. I did get that at Target Dollar Spot last year. It was about $5. I know there's something similar on Amazon, so I will link as many things as I can down below for you to check out and see if you would like to add these items to your bag as well. The next item here is my stethoscope. 
and this is pretty self-explanatory. I always like to keep that on hand, um, excuse me, um, just in case I need it um, to manually check a blood pressure, find a heartbeat, things like that, that um, I need to be um, using to get my vital signs for different new patients. So the next thing, we're going toward the middle of the bag here. So we're getting into this section. So we're literally going from front to the middle to the back. So the next thing you'll find here is my storage clipboard. I love to keep my notes in here, inside here, it opens up. And I do have a quote here, because I, like I said, I like positive sayings. Um, this is Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans that I have for you, um, plans to give you hope and a future. So I like to keep this on hand because again, you don't know if you need to find something quick to write down something. You can't find a nurse station, you know, it's busy. You need to hear about write this quick prescription or have the doctor look at it really quick. So many different things that you're, you're having to do as a medical assistant that you need to be able to be flexible, prepared, and think quick on your feet. Um, and I got that at Staples, by the way. And again, I will link something similar down below. So I have a binder here and um, it does have my name on the front. This is something I made, um, really pretty. And this has all of my notes in here, specific doctor information to help me, um, how the doctor wants specific uh, procedure, take home notes to be written for the patients, stuff that I could copy and print out to give to the patients, um, how they, specific pharmacies they use for different medications, whether if it's compounding or we're sending it to uh, a retail pharmacy, all these different notes that we need that are doctor specific because we do have several different doctors that we're working with um, so I can easily flip to it find it get it done move on to the next patient so that's the middle section so we're going into the front pocket section toward the back so we're in the middle we're working to the section before we get to the pockets that are inside the lining of the bag if that makes sense I'm sorry if I'm confusing you so you'll find two more bags I like to keep things in bags because I know if it's a sparkly bag, I have this stuff in it. If it's a tropical bag, I have this stuff in it. And the other two bags were what the This Girl Can bag and the black bag. So they're all different bags for a purpose. So in this bag, I have my feminine products in there. I don't need to show you guys that because it's pretty you know, self-explanatory. So I have my sanitary napkins in here. I have my larger ones, my panty liners, and things like that just in case I need them. Um, gotta be prepared and I also have some feminine wipes in there as well these little individually wrapped feminine wipes or and that can also be used for body wipes so in this bag I have more of my hygiene products so I have some Motrin in here that I put in this um, little container here it's labeled with the milligrams and it also has the expiration date. So I keep this in a sealed container like this. You never know when a headache comes or you got some cramps or something else is going on. I have some lip gloss. I have some lip serum. I have a Band-Aid. I also have a toothbrush because, hey, you might get something stuck in your teeth after lunch or after breakfast while you're at work. You do a quick brush. You never know. Toothpaste. The travel size. I have a hair clip. A hair tie. Another lip gloss. And some roll-on perfume just in case you never know so all of this fits inside this bag here and I know what's in this bag because it's the what the tropical bag so that's how I keep it together and I know what to get so I'm not looking through all these bags and you know oh where's my chapstick oh where's my you know feminine products Oh, it's in the glittery bag or no it's in the tropical bag or the black bag you see what I'm saying so it's important to have a system together so this couldn't fit in my hygiene bag 
So I have some, this pairs as body spray and a deodorant. So I have this as well, which is very helpful. And hey, sometimes, you know, different patients have some odors going on. So this can also pair as a room spray. So this is a three in one. So I might do a little psh, psh in a room when you're coming out because you just never know. So, hey, that can work for many different things. So now, um, I also have these two items. So this is eyeglass cleaner, and I have my eyeglass case. Pretty self-explanatory here. Um, I do wear glasses at work because um, the computers can give me eye strain and can give me a headache. So I try to... Um, not try to I have to have my eyeglasses um, so this is the case for them to go in and the um, solution and inside my eyeglass case if you were wondering I do have the um, little towel to clean my eyes eye lens so the next so I have another notepad I know you're like oh my gosh you have a million notepads yes so this so this notebook serves a different purpose than the mini note memo pad that I had before. The mini notepad is specific to work related things. Now, when I'm on my lunch break, I like to pull this out to have a brain dump where I'm writing out all the things that are in my head, organizing things for the house, you know, for my home life or um, things that are upcoming, things that I just need to just get down on paper so that um, my a to-do list, a quick to-do list, a quick grocery list. As you can see, this has its own pen for a purpose so I can easily pick it up out of my bag, grab my lunch bag, go to lunch. Simple. So this is in at this is in that inside pocket of my bag. So we're getting down to the end here. All right. Excuse me. You will find this emergency kit here that was done by Target. And inside this kit is a nail file. I added this item. It's a flashlight, which came from Dollar Tree. No, it came from Roses inside this kit that it also had mace inside it. Okay, so the oil blotting papers, and this is extra shiny, sorry. Um, which is kind of self-explanatory. They're little papers that you can blot ex excess oil on your face when you're having a shiny day. So these little papers here came in the kit. Cotton swabs. Hairspray. Just in case something gets out of place, you can get it back together. Some bobby pins. Clear nail polish. Never know. Clear nail polish actually has a lot of usages. Chapstick. And a fingernail clipper. So this all fit inside this bag. Okay, guys. The last item here is, excuse me. Um, is my hand sanitizer which is attached to the strap on my bag so that actually concludes everything that's in my bag you guys so you don't want to overdo it one thing that I did not show in here that is not in here right now but normally is is an umbrella um, there are times when I'm leaving work I go into work it's not raining but I leave out of work it is raining so excuse me, that has helped me several times with that type of, type of situation. So I just need to remember to put that back in my bag. So other than that, that is it, you guys. That is all the things that I need to have a successful work day that has helped me tremendously with my workload and um, has allowed me to handle the job of a medical assistant responsibly. So 
you guys um, let me know um, some of the things that you found um, to be um, interesting in my work bag that you found that would actually help you maybe in your non-health related uh, position that you may have um, that you will include in your work bag or um, or didn't think would you know that you would need that you actually found out that you actually you would need or could need um, that you will include in your work bag or your work purse or anything that you will now consider to bring with you to work to help you with your uh, work schedule. So thank you so very much you all for watching my video today. I hope that you share it with someone um, so that um, they can also learn a thing or two of what could help them in their work related um, items to bring with them on a day to day basis. I so appreciate you taking the time to watch this video with me today. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day guys. And remember, you do not have to be typical, just be who you are supposed to be and who you're called to be. Pursue that, whatever that genuine desire is, with all of your heart, you all, and you are absolutely where you're supposed to be. Don't ever let any circumstance make you believe that you are not on the road that you're supposed to be on. Whatever that looks like, whether if it's sunshine or rain, know that wherever you are right now is supposed to be occurring. It is specifically ordained by our Father, who I believe is Jesus Christ. So don't fall into the trap of being typical. You be exactly who you are called to be and pursue it if you don't know it right now. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Take care.